There's just basically three ways to castrate. You're either going to uh, surgically, you're either going to or constrict blood flow. Other is vaccinations. We don't have any products, but that's being worked on where you just vaccinate an animal uh, and it will hinder the release of testosterone. And there's a lot of, there's research going into that. So that's coming. You'll see, I think more that pain control, yeah, and castrations is, it's being shown that it does improve performance. Uh, so I think you're gonna see more and more people uh, start to use some type of pain control in their, if you're doing surgical castrations uh, and probably even given local anesthetic is probably going to become more of the normal in the future too. So um, I know some veterinarians are already doing all of those already, um, especially if they have any size to them. Um, we should not let them get that big probably. They should be castrated probably 60, 90 days or so, get it done. If those of you want to use the big bands, Calicrate Bander or Easy Bander or any of those things, uh, obviously the advantage is that there's no blood, but I think the myth that there is some type of performance uh, that you get out of that by letting them hang onto those testicles as long as you can, that weight gain you'll get from testosterone. I think that's been proven uh, pretty much if we get them castrated early implant them you're not going to see any difference in that and I guarantee it's a lot easier to get it done when they're 60 90 days or less than letting them get six months or so um, you know I didn't coin I think Dan Thompson coined the phrase you know uh, the longer the animals attached to the testicle the more he's or the longer the testicles attached to the animal more attached the animal is to the testicle <laughs> so get it done early and so uh, questions that you know about do you give an antibiotic if you do a surgical castration uh, I didn't usually when I was in practice a lot of times I sprayed iodine spray on the wound and and I would put a fly spray depending on the time of the year and control that if it's real muddy or something, it might be something you'd consider because you worry about mud splashing up on that incision and, and, and getting you an infection. So those are things you might think about. And uh, I can show you my instruments when we get back. I don't know if any of you use a Newberry knife or not or know what that is. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do surgical. I mean, I, I didn't use, I've got it and I didn't hardly ever use it. I, I mean, I was a scalpel person that just cut the bottom of the bag off about a third of the way. And, uh, and I was more of a pull, <laughs> strip them down and pull the testicles. I did use the emasculator some if they were big, but I, the little ones, I just, I had better luck just pulling them than I did uh, using the emasculator. So, um, so the Newberry knife is a cuts and slits the bag, so you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers. I've got scars on my fingers from the castrations I've done when the got kicked and the scalpel blade slices your finger and all that. So the Newberry knife protects you from having that happen to you. Mm -hmm.